guys, Charlie the Plumber here. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate everyone stopping back by. Hey, I thought I'd give you a little tour of my uh, Boston Whaler here. This is an old ribside, vintage 1971-72. When you get back this long, the people I bought it from really didn't have a good option as to how old this boat was. When I bought it, the registration does say 1972. There is a stamp in the back of the boat that says number 673. So my understanding, when Boston Whalers started to make these, this is called the ribside or the banana hull. What my understanding was, was when they started to make these, the ribs didn't come out of the form the way they were supposed to. And with that being said, what happened is the uh, boats would get stuck in there. So that's why they went to the smooth side. So they had two years of the rib side, but pretty solid boat. Uh, got a Minn Kota trolling motor on here. We do use this for fishing. Got the Arctic cooler for a front seat. I did put the T-top on as an extra or an aftermarket because the sun is so, so harsh up here in the state of Michigan. So I put the T-top on, cleaned her up a little bit. This boat was painted when I bought it. It was a work boat. They used it for a back and forth boat to a seaweed cutting company. So there was a giant plate in the back of this boat that they had a winch mount on years ago. Pulled the winch up, we basically, we, we went through and painted the whole thing uh, inside. The people that had it previous, they painted the inside and outside. So unfortunately, the gel coat is pretty much gone as far as the shine finish to it, but still a very solid boat. The boat will run approximately 27, 28 miles an hour. Before we put the trolling motor in there, we get a little bit more miles per hour out of it, but we got a couple of batteries up front, adds a little extra weight. So what else we got? We got the speakers, the stereo in here, just so we got a little tunes when we're out running. We got a new leaning post seat on it that I put on there. Uh, but all in all, nice boat take you a little tour on the inside of it. So we got a 130 Honda four-stroke motor on it. Uh, this motor is a uh, 2003, I believe. Got the uh, two exterior tanks on it. They used to have a, a tank, from my understanding, that went across the back. That's no longer there. So we've got 24 gallons of fuel. It holds in here when both tanks are full. Got the leaning post seat on it. Lights are all functioning. I do have some red lights underneath here for a little ambiance and when you're out fishing at nighttime, gives you a little extra light. Got the, uh, the little cubby there underneath the wheelhouse so that you can store any of the miscellaneous stuff. Got the GPS on it, 740 Garmin GPS. It's got the original wood slats on the side. You can see them were painted as well, but uh, you can paint them up like a teak color and or strip them down, paint them like a teak color. That would bring this boat back to the original finish. Fiberglass inside, like I say. I've talked about putting the uh, the sea deck inside here, and I think that would really, really make it look nice. But as of right now, it's still a fishing boat. We haven't had really a chance to sit down and, and make this thing brand new again. Don't know if we're going to or not. But uh, we'll get in there and show you the uh, the stamping on it. Yes, I made a final mistake. Boat number 631. Here's the dash. I've had a couple of people tell me this dash is as close to original as you can get. I really can't tell you guys. You know what? I bought it for a fishing boat. And uh, that's pretty much what I used it for. But I'm sure you guys can tell me whether this is original or if this is an aftermarket. Got the leaning post here. Got a little footrest on this seat. Got uh, the rod holders up top you can use if need be. Got the, uh, the top from Fishmaster out of Florida. Real good company to work with. Was real happy with it uh, when we put this thing in. Uh, we basically, we just, we glued it with 5400 and then we anchored it to the floor. Got the anchor compartment down here. You can throw a little anchor in there and some line in there. Got the trolling motor set up up there, a couple of batteries, and then we got the charging system. Got the Arctic cooler that we use here just for basically for a storage bin. I've got an old charger. When we 
used to have at the marina. I used to keep the charger in here to keep the batteries charged when we had the boat at the marina just because obviously you don't have power. Now we got at the brother's house and we got shore power. Not like we need a whole lot, but we do have it. Other than that, use this seat for a nice little riding seat. Get the full effect up here. I have had eight people on this boat and it still jumps right up and gets out of the water and away it goes. Uh, other than that, pretty good boat. Nice storage on it. Got some storage up front. If you get a chance, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and to share it with your friends. Hey, check out this guy's old Boston Whaler. So we'll talk to you soon. Appreciate everyone stopping by. Thanks for watching.